Well, thanks for coming out. Uh, excited to be here today. Uh, this offseason, one of our biggest priorities was an attacking player, an attacking player who can make a difference in the final third. Uh, we've been monitoring uh, Douglas's situation in Grêmio. Uh, we knew that their difficult season would give us an opportunity maybe to have a chance to get him. Uh, as that season played out, we did. We spoke to Juventus, who we have a really good relationship. Uh, it came about and we spoke to his agent. We then progressed on and, and went for him. And uh, it's an interesting situation for us here. Um, I think that he, Douglas Costa is a fantastic player who's been at some massive clubs from Juventus, uh, Bayern Munich, uh, played with the Brazil national team in the World Cup. I think uh, we think he'll be a big difference in Major League Soccer and, and help the team. Uh, we think it's a fantastic addition for us and our team. And uh, we look forward to seeing him and really excited to see him this season. Um, I'll pass it on to Greg Vanny, our head coach. Thank you, Yolan. Oh. Good afternoon, everyone. Today is the day I will talk about the DP. Uh, now, we're, we're uh, really excited today to, to announce Douglas Costa as, as our newest uh, DP and newest player. Um, Obviously a player who has played at a tremendous level is, is there are levels of good and he is the top level of good. And so we're excited to add him into our group and to start to integrate him as we uh, work through this latter part of preseason. It was a big thing for us to be able to, to try to get Douglas here and with some time before the season starts to help him to integrate, to learn his teammates, uh, just to, to settle into what we're trying to do. And, and we're super optimistic that He's going to help uh, tilt the bar to us to, to help us become a championship caliber team this year. So uh, we're excited to, to bring him into the equation. I'll open the room up for questions. We'll start with Damian Calhoun. Damian, go ahead. Hey, Greg. Hey, Damian. Um, where do you see him playing exactly? Uh, on the wing, or do you see him sort of at that 10 roll in the middle, or, or how do you sort of you know see this playing out? Yeah, I mean, I think. He's capable of playing any attacking position, um, but you know, primarily the roles that he's played uh, prior to here have been on the wings, where he's capable of being in one-on-one -on -one situations and just having a go at uh, at full backs on a consistent basis. But he's also able to invert, come off of the the right side to get in between the lines and and create attacks from inside the, the half spaces, if not. And uh, so a lot of a lot of possibilities with them. I think we'll you know integrate him into the group and and find the best scenario for him. But for me on the short term, I like him coming from right to left and putting the ball on his left foot and allowing him to create plays and create attacks. Thank you, Greg. Uh, do you see him? Uh, will, will he play by Sunday, or how much time do you think he needs to get into the group to get acclimated before he can you know get on the field with the guys this, this preseason? Yeah, we, we hope to integrate him quickly. Obviously, he just arrived, so uh, just turning him around, transitioning him, letting him uh, get his legs under him here a little bit. Ideally, we'd like to get him into some match time on the weekend, uh, but we'll take this day by day and, and just allow him the opportunity again to transition to, uh, to our team, to California, to get settled in, to all the things that need to go, but we'd love for him to be ready. He's been in preseason down in Brazil, uh, up until this started to get really serious, maybe you know, 10 days to two weeks ago. But prior to that, he was in preseason and concentration down with Gremio doing two, three training sessions a day. Uh, and he's just been trying to maintain fitness while this has been finalizing and, for, and you know, traveling out here. So fitness level should be solid. Uh, so now it's just a process of integration and, and helping him to really prepare for what is a long kind of grueling season. All right, thank you. We'll go with Scott French. Scott, go ahead. Hey, Greg. Um, Scott. Wondering if you could uh, just assess where you are in terms of flank play. You, you've added a couple of outside backs. Uh, we've got uh, Cabral and Grancier coming back in, in better position this year. And now you're adding Costa to the group. Uh, how, how do you see your uh, w what you are on the flank? Yeah, we have a lot of... Uh, quality a lot of dynamic players we have we have options and and you know I think of those players some of them can play slightly different roles uh, as we've seen Douglas could play inside or outside Kevin could play as a striker or at times or a second striker and 
Uh, Ephra will probably slide into a little bit more of a central role at times now, uh, kind of sharing some time with, with Victor in that central midfield area as an attacking midfielder. It's something I want to do with him. Uh, so we have options uh, and we have a lot of quality uh, and we have players that are very dynamic in the one-on-one -on -one situation and also uh, we talked a lot about last year being able to threaten the space behind oppositions to, to, to really hurt teams and so um, obviously Douglas takes us to an entirely new level on that side of things which we're, we're really excited about um, but yeah we've got guys that are they're going to be competing for time and, and uh, you know working to be at their best level. In terms of, uh, of in the attacking spaces, we saw Ravellison today play higher up than we normally see him play. What, what are your plans with him, and how does he fit into all of this? Yeah, it's, uh, you know, primarily he'll probably sit in, a, in an eight position where he's able to go, you know, both ways, defend and attack, uh, cover a little more territory, box-to-box -box idea. Uh, he and Marky will probably share that role uh, in the midfield. And then we'll we'll put somebody underneath them, like a Victor, like a, you know any of the guys that I had named before. I'll have some capacity to do that in different ways. Um, but between Mark and Ryan, they'll probably do a lot of the the box to box work. Today we pushed them a little higher to to work with um, to work with Decky to Dayon, uh, and we brought Sasha in to just you know help lead us in the midfield. So just a little bit different look, but it gave Ryan an opportunity to cover a little bit more territory, build his fitness, support in the attacking role a little bit more. Thank you, Greg. Uh, we'll go with Josh Guessman next. Josh, go ahead. Hey, Greg. Thanks for taking the time to talk. And, and you already stole my joke that I was going to use earlier. Hey, so um, you, you, you beat me to it. Um, I, I, I'm always interested, how long did this deal take to come together? Was this something that, you know, you sort of have an idea of a couple months ago and then it slowly it starts to become more and more final? Or was this something that just sort of rapidly came together in the last, you know, 10 days or 14 days? Well, it's probably been, I don't know, maybe a, a month, six weeks to a month in the in process. Um, obviously, one, you have to know that the player is going to be available to, that the player has interest, especially a player like Douglas, that he has interest in coming to MLS and, and specifically the Galaxy. Uh, then it's, you know, connecting and doing all the work that you have to do to try, com try to make a deal come through. Um, so all of that process took place. Uh, and then, you know, then there's the finalization of things, getting a visa, getting the, the medical done, getting all those things that, that take some time. So yeah, all in all, probably six weeks to actually get the deal done, probably uh, maybe a few couple more weeks just as to work the process to see if it's just if it's real, you know. Um, yeah, and that's taken us to today, really. And, and to follow up on the visa and the, and the ITC, is all that stuff done or do you guys still have to, to finish all that before the season starts? So he, he has uh, and already had a visitor visa, which is what got him here. And so now it's just transitioning the visitor visa into a work visa, which should take, you know, seven days, seven to ten days. So we'll be doing that already. It's in process. So hopefully that will get done and be ready to go pretty quickly. Perfect. Okay. We'll go with Andy Dioso with Yahoo. Andy, go ahead. Hey, Greg. I just wanted to look a little uh, bigger picture here. Obviously, you're no stranger to what the Galaxy do and bringing in big names and things like that. With how things have played out in the past few years and having names of world caliber like Chicharito and, and Costa, what does that do for your internal expectation? Obviously, you guys have those expectations of getting back to the playoffs and being that championship team, but I want to know for you as a coach and going into the season how that kind of sets up. Yeah, again, the, the most important thing for me is that the quality of our team continues to take uh, steps forward. You know, our younger guys who we got last year to help us start to build this team are a year more mature. Uh, they need to show that on the field. Um, our veteran guys, Javier, looking to back up last year with another great year and even maybe more games than, than he was able to play last year. Uh, obviously, Douglas coming in gives us, again, another, just a whole other level, I think, in our attacking capacity. Uh, so it's, it's about progress, it's about uh, a process of getting better and better and if we do that and we keep taking steps forward in our, our game model and our ideas and what we're trying to do from game to game, keep getting more uh, ingrained in our group and we start to play with more consistency, which is one of the things I'm really happy with this group in preseason. Our games from game to game have been a lot more consistent than anything we saw last year. Uh, then we'll give ourselves a chance to, to win a championship. We've got to do all those things before we can, we can talk about a championship and I think those steps are, are happening now. Uh, and like I said, and I'll keep saying, bringing Douglas in gives us another opportunity 
uh, because world-class players mean that typically your efficiency level goes up. You don't need 10 chances to score a goal. Maybe you only need three, you know, and, and that's with the quality he brings. It just make, can make us more efficient on the, on the attacking side and more dangerous. His ability to isolate and beat people on the dribble uh, is something that, again, I've been, we've been looking for, and, and he brings it at, at the highest level. So all these things just make our group better. Uh, and I'll say one more last time, if we defend well, we're going to be a very good team. And that's something that we keep focusing on in the, uh, in the preseason. I think it's kind of frozen. Uh, hi, Greg. Uh, Gustavo from Church of Us, Brazil. I just want to ask you, how was your first contact with Douglas? How was uh, the first talk? Uh, and what a guy who played in the World Cup, who played in the best teams of the world, uh, can improve the team off the field as a mentor or someone who can help people in the locker room? Yeah, uh, first question. My first interaction was, uh, I think he was in a restaurant. He had just finished having dinner and it wasn't the easiest conversation because it was rather loud to where he was. And, and uh, yeah, so we, we tried to have a conversation, but it wasn't the, the, the smoothest. Uh, but since then, we've been able to connect. Um, in terms of, yeah, in terms of his experience and his leadership, his quality, uh, all important, not just on the field, but off the field, to, to be able to help our players, our younger players, uh, to help mentor them on the field, help them on the field, but uh, just helping them to understand what, what it takes to, to reach that kind of level that he's been at. is It's valuable in this league. We have a lot of players who uh, who are still striving to do some of the things that get even close to what he's done would be huge. And so his ability to help mentor and bring them along is just, it's a bonus. And it's one of the roles of DP is to try to try to help make others around you better. And, and in addition to doing your job. So, um, you know, I get the sense that he's looking forward to that and he understands the the value of, of what he can bring to our group. And, and those things are important in this league. If you want to win a championship, it's, it's about the group uh, and how the group can work together and, and support each other. This is not a league of, of perfection. It's not a league where every player is is world class. This is this is where you everybody is is working together to be the best unit they can and the strongest. And that team will will be at the end trying to win a championship. We'll do one last one with Sophie Nicolo. Sophie, go ahead. Thanks, Vicky. Um, hi, Coach. Uh, thanks for answering my question. Uh, I know it's early doors at this point, but what excites you about this team this season compared to last season? Um, clearly, there's a couple of X factors you've added, but what is it as coach that you're excited about that you see at this point? I would say, again, just the maturity of our group. It just feels like a very different group from where we were at any point last year, and this is the starting point for us this year. Uh, our young players like Cabral, like Jovalich, uh, Grand Zier, even Ryan, these players who came in in what was the tail end of a European season, jumped into the into the beginning of a of a MLS season uh, in a new new country, in a in a new system, in a new in a new club. They all just seemed like they had they've been able to take a break, and they're all just feel like more mature, more prepared for what's in front of them now that they've experienced it and they've gone through sort of those initial growing pains. Everybody just feels more mature, uh, more comfortable with each other, more comfortable with what we're trying to do. The messaging isn't different for them. It's they understand what we're trying to accomplish and what their roles and responsibilities are. Uh, and I say that across the board with everybody who is is coming back. I think there was a genuine disappointment as to how the season end and there's a reality check on that, which uh, which I think I think probably motivated a lot of people in the off season to come back ready to get this season started. Um, yeah, and lastly, I think this the we've added some mature players, guys who have won in this league, from Mark Mark Delgado to Raheem Edwards, uh, Kelvin Leardom. These guys have all been successful in this league. They understand the league. That's added maturity to our group. Uh, it's added competition and depth to the group and now we add uh, you know a world-class player into the attack who can who can really really make a difference it just feels we've already in preseason I've said already in the four games we've already played with more consistency for 90 minutes than any game that we played last year just on a consistent basis where we had control of games control of the ball control of the defensive side minimizing opportunities creating a lot of opportunities so it just we're we're at a good starting point and we're just beginning and we know we have a lot of work to get to the level that we believe we can get to. And I 
freezes. There we go. Epic, thank you. We're good, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Greg, we can bring Costa in. Okay, uh, it's my great pleasure to welcome Douglas Costa to the galaxy and to all of you. Tú solo, solo con la playera, levanta la playera, tú solo. Así o. Sí. Gracias por acompañarnos. If you want to start with opening remarks, and then we'll have Alberto translate for you. Okay. Listo, Douglas, puedes comenzar. Primeramente, es un placer fazer parte do Los Angeles Galaxy, eu acho que estou muito empolgado e satisfeito uh, com esse novo desafio, então acho que todo mundo que fez o esforço para eu estar aqui está de parabéns e eu espero devolver tudo isso dentro de campo. Uh, firstly, uh, it's a pleasure uh, to be part of the LA Galaxy, uh, I'm very motivated and happy with this challenge. Those who put effort in making this happen, uh, I salute and congratulate them, and I'm very excited. Now we will open it up for questions. We will start first question with Josh Gassman. Josh, go ahead. Thank you. Uh, welcome to LA, Douglas. Um, my question is, in a video you talked about uh, David Beckham and Zlatan Ibrahimovic, and I think Ashley Cole as well. Uh, what about those names made you want to add your name to the list uh, of, of big LA Galaxy players? Bem-vindo, uh, primeiramente. Uh, você mencionou num vídeo uh, os nomes de David Beckham, Zlatan Ibrahimovic e Ashley Cole também. Uh, o que quis dizer você ouvir esses nomes e por que você quis adicionar o seu nome a esses nomes importantes? Porque eu acho que uh, eu venho de uma história importante também, claro que não no nível talvez deles, mas e quero construir minha história e também tentar colocar meu nome dentro da, da equipe da LA, que é uma, é uma coisa que eu tenho como meta e, e desafio de carreira. Well, I believe I also come from an important history, uh, maybe not uh, as strong, uh, but definitely a strong history. And I want to also put my name uh, along the side in the history of LA Galaxy, and uh, I want to. It's a career challenge for me uh, to accomplish that. And then, at, at 31 years old, obviously you're not the the young player. Bom, é, aos 31 anos, você já não é tão jovem quanto 23 e 24. Você acha que você, é, você agora joga de uma maneira mais estratégica, mais tática, é, mais inteligente? Claro, acho que ao decorrer dos anos, uh, tu acaba aprendendo suas limitações e, e comigo não é, não é nada diferente. Mas tem meus companheiros também, que o futebol não é um esporte que se joga sozinho. Eu acho que meus companheiros, junto a mim, podemos fazer uma equipe forte e conseguir grandes êxitos. Yes, for sure. Um, 
over the years, one always learns, uh, and it's not different with me. Uh, most importantly, it's uh, I have my teammates around. Uh, soccer, it's not a sport that you play alone. So we have a, a strong team, a strong roster, and we can accomplish great things. Thank you. Obrigado. With Damien Calhoun. Damien, go ahead. Hi, Douglas. Uh, what were your initial thoughts when you when you learned that the Galaxy had interest in in um, bringing you to uh, LA and Major League Soccer? Olá, Douglas. Uh, me conta sobre as primeiras impressões que você teve quando você ouviu que o LA Galaxy tinha interesse em te trazer para o time e para a MLS. Acho que foi uh, logo após que acabou o campeonato meu país brasileiro, acabamos de iniciar as conversas com, com o pessoal da lei e, cara, eu escutei bastante coisas positivas, é o time que, que mais venceu aqui e está um, um bom tempo sem ganhar, então isso me motiva a vir aqui, a tentar algo diferente e colocar novamente o LA no topo uh, do campeonato. I believe um, uh, it all started after the end of the tournament uh, in my country, in Brazil, uh, and uh, we started the conversations. I had heard many positive things, so I know that uh, it's a winning team, uh, and but had, had not been winning uh, for some time now. So I take this as a, as a motivator uh, to try something different and come here to bring LA Galaxy to the top again. Thank you. We'll go with Gustavo Lopez from Territorio Messi. E Douglas, Territorio MLS do Brasil, um prazer estar falando com você uh, aqui na MLS. Eu queria te perguntar uh, o que, que você conhecia da MLS uh, antes de você assinar com o Galaxy? Uh, como é que está o seu nível de inglês ali com os companheiros? Né? A gente vê alguns vídeos de você falando ali com os seus novos companheiros e o que, que você espera da sua jornada na MLS. Obrigado. Cara, acho que a MLS eu já venho escutando faz um pouco de tempo, até porque ela vem crescendo ano após ano. E... Cara, meu inglês ele tá... não é ruim não, mas eu preferi fazer em português para que todo mundo me entenda perfeitamente, mas eu vou correr o mais rápido possível para aprender. E próxima vez vir aqui e tentar falar inglês. Mas, cara, como eu disse, a MLS é um, me motivou por diversos jogadores brasileiros também ter passado por aqui. O Kaká passou por aqui, claro que não foi no LA, mas teve vários jogadores que foram meus ídolos de infância e passaram por aqui também. Uh, the question was, uh, uh, it's a pleasure to be talking to you. Uh, what did you know about the MLS before signing with LA Galaxy? Uh, second part of the question, tell us about uh, your English, we heard you, we, we saw some videos of you talking to your teammates, so tell us a little bit about that, and finally the third part, uh, your overall expectations, uh, the answers. Uh, well, the MLS I've been hearing for some time already, especially because it's been growing year over year, about my English, uh, it's not bad, I uh, just uh, prefer to do in Portuguese so that everybody understood uh, what I was saying, uh, making very clear what I was saying. Uh, but I'll, learn, I'll run to learn, and next time, uh, maybe I'll be here speaking English. Uh, and with regards to the MLS, uh, motiva very motivated, of course. Uh, we, I've, I've known of Brazilian players that came to play here, for example, Kaká, obviously not for LA, uh, but other Brazilian players and some players that I've seen and watched as my adults as I was growing up. We'll go with Gio Garcia next. Hey Douglas, uh, welcome to LA. Uh, Greg Vanny, just talk about you, uh, you know, helping this team become a championship team. This team has aspirations, obviously, to, to go deep this season. Obviously, you're a world-class player. You're, you're not, you're not strange uh, to that, to carrying on the pressure. But how, how, what were the conversations and how, I guess, excited are you to help this team potentially become a championship team this season? Uh, Bem-vindo, o, o treinador Greg acabou de falar de você, como vem, vindo para ajudar a formar um time campeão, obviamente as aspirações, os objetivos são altos, você é um jogador de classe mundial, então 
é, sabe lidar com a pressão, mas me conta um pouco dessas conversas e dessa expectativa de criar um, um, um time capaz de ganhar o campeonato. Quando se trata de do LA Galaxy Douglas também, sempre vai existir uma pressão gigantesca, mas nós como, como grupo, como, como time, a gente sabe suportar isso. E eu junto com meus companheiros, o treinador, o pessoal que está no dia a dia aqui, vamos achar a melhor maneira para voltar a ser campeão, que é o que a gente busca e é o objetivo final de todos. When you talk about LA Galaxy or even Douglas, uh, there's always going to be pressure. Uh, the important thing is that we have a group, we are a team, and we know how to handle. I have my teammates, and with the coach and the, uh, the staff in the day-to-day, -day, we'll find a path uh, to get back to that championship path, which is a big objective for all of us. We'll go with Sophie Nicola. Hey Douglas, welcome to Los Angeles. Um, just wanted to ask if you've visited the city before and if you've spent much time here. Bem-vindo a Los Angeles. Uh, só gostaria de saber se você já tinha visitado e passado tempo em Los Angeles. Já eu, eu estive aqui em outra oportunidade uns três anos atrás com a, com a minha esposa. A gente conhece uma pequena parte ali um pouco só de, de Los Angeles e a gente já já gosta de, de antes, é um lugar que é dos sonhos para nós também. Então, uh, estar aqui e poder viver aqui e, e tentar algo novo é o que a gente nos deixa muito feliz. Yes, indeed, I have been here before, about three years ago, with my wife. Uh, we know just a, a small part, some places, but we already like it. Uh, so, for that reason, it's also a dream place for us. Uh, so to be here, to live here, and to try something new, all that makes us very happy. Douglas, está bien si tomamos dos en español? Eso. Vamos con Rodrigo Serrano en español. Está bien si respondes en español? Okay, sin problema. Hola Douglas, bienvenido a Los Ángeles. Mucho éxito. No sé si eh, ya conocías a Chicharito, qué piensas de él y, y si has tenido la oportunidad de, o tuviste la oportunidad de ver algún partido de, del Galaxy de la, de la temporada pasada. Hola, uh, no, no tuve la oportunidad de, de mirar partidos el año pasado, pero sí, todo, todo el mundo conoce a Chicharito, un jugador importante que hace muchos, muchos goles, de, entonces... Tengo la oportunidad de estar con él ahora y intentar hacer y ayudar a hacer gol también. Uh, the question. Uh, welcome. Good luck to success. Uh, I want to know if you uh, knew Chicharito, uh, what do you think of him, and also if you had the chance to watch any of the LA Galaxy matches from the last season. Uh, the answer. Uh, no, actually, I did not have the opportunity to watch any of the matches. Uh, about Chicharito, well, everybody knows Chicharito. He's an important player, has a great capacity of scoring goals, and I really appreciate now this opportunity to be here and to play together. Vamos con Norman Martinez de Telemundo 52. Norman, adelante. ¿Me escuchas? Sí. sí. Hola, Douglas, buenas tardes. Bienvenido a Los Ángeles. Este, mi pregunta es para ti, ¿qué piensas de la, de la MLS y la calidad que tiene de jugadores? ¿Y cómo crees de que un jugador como tú, como la talla, como, como la tuya, va a aportarle a esta liga? De verdad que, como estaba hablando antes, la MLS, la MLS está creciendo mucho y, y tengo total capacidad con mi compañero de intentar ponerme en juego y dentro de eso ayudar a mis compañeros a salir bien todo partido y ganar los partidos que son importantes para nosotros y quizá salir campeón. The question was, uh, tell us what you think about the MLS, the player quality and how a player of your caliber can add uh, to, to the team. Uh, the answer, uh, the truth is that, uh, well, like I said before, the MLS is growing, it's growing a lot. And I have the ability to contribute, uh, help my teammates, my team and my teammates 
uh, in every match, to win matches, and hopefully to also build up uh, the path to be a champion. Douglas, muchísimas gracias por tu tiempo. Gracias. Thank you so much for your time. Welcome to the LA Galaxy. Thank you.